Hi, I'm KP Burke. I'm the host of the podcast American Loser, which puts the spotlight firmly on second place. Not too long ago, we uncovered a man named Dan Sickles. And let me tell you, his life is pure chaos. And here it is, America's Biggest Loser in three minutes or less. Go! Dan Sickles was an insane person with an insane life. The first major footnote of it was when he decided to run for political office as a Tammany Hall candidate and served in the United States Congress. While he was living in D.C., he had the most beautiful wife, an Italian girl, which was rare for the time in America, and he promptly decided to, the best way to treat his wife was to cheat on her on the regular. He would bring prostitutes with him overseas and introduce the prostitutes as his wife to foreign dignitaries, sometimes even royalty. Back in Washington, D.C., his beautiful wife, aware that she was being cheated on left and right, decided it was time for her to carry on an affair of her own, and who better to do that with than the son of Francis Scott Key? That's right, the guy who wrote The Star Spangled Banner. Anyway, she's banging Francis Scott Key's son, who's a handsome guy and a womanizer around town, and Dan Sickles, who's banging every prostitute in the greater D.C. area, finds out about this. And he decides it would be hypocritical of him to be jealous of his wife for having an extramarital affair when he's done so for the last decade. Except for the part where he doesn't, and he just shoots the guy dead in the streets, across the street. Two minutes! Literally within view of the White House. So what happens? It's the first time anybody has ever successfully used the plea of temporary insanity. And not only does he get off, literally a marching band will actually play him out into the street and he's celebrated as a man about town because Dan Sickles, he may have been cheated on, but at least he set things right. Moving on to the next part of his life, he decides it's time to regain some of his former glory by serving in the Battle of Gettysburg, where he gets his leg blown off, tons of his troops killed, has his leg preserved in a pickle barrel, and then gets the Medal of Honor for not dying. Moving on to the next part of his life, he will then become a military emperor down in the Carolinas. He'll start banging the deposed queen of Spain as he's an ambassador over there. He will then also attempt to start a war with Spain for the United States, which is later revealed to be total bullshit, and then finally decides that he's going to take the money that they're raising for a monument for him as one of the only major generals to be involved in the Battle of Gettysburg, where he won the Medal of Honor, and he embezzles the money. I am not making this shit up! So that's why there is no... There is no, to this day, no statue made for General Dan Sickles because Dan Sickles embezzled the money that was made for his own monument. But you can still go visit his preserved leg at the U.S. Army Field Hospital in Washington, D.C. And next time you're walking out in front of Washington, D.C., in view of the president's office at the Oval Office, you can sit there and say, hey, didn't that guy Dan Sickles kill some guy who was fucking his wife around here? And that's Dan Sickles, American loser. If you enjoyed that and want more weird stories from American history, please check out the show American Loser. And if you like this, pay attention for more episodes of 3-Minute Loser.